Today I'm excited to uh, review and install uh, the Alltap 4x4 accessory portable battery box. Uh, I'm actually uh, looking forward to do this because uh, I needed uh, a portable, uh, easy to use, cost effective um, uh, lithium phosphate battery uh, that has uh, uh, 12 volt uh, output capabilities uh, that I could use uh, in my uh, overlanding and camping trips uh, or even uh, at home uh, as well. You see here uh, I pulled uh, the old top battery box out with single hand uh, super light. Um, I think uh, the, uh, it looks and feels uh, pretty solid uh, and uh, it looks sturdy and well made. Uh, the finishing seems pretty well. I think uh, the sticker was the worst part of the box. Uh, it, it seemed like it was uh, peeled off and uh, I've tried to uh, attach it back a few times but it keeps uh, coming off. Uh, yeah, not an issue here, but uh, uh, that I think uh, just to make a point uh, that uh, the, the box is made pretty well and uh, I was happy uh, with the uh, uh, assembly and uh, uh, the material uh, as far as uh, sturdiness and finishing. Uh, you see there, there are uh, two handles, on uh, the one handle on each side. Uh, I would have liked for this box actually to have a single hand on the top to be able to carry it with one hand, uh, but it doesn't have that, so you have to use both hands uh, across, like uh, on, on, on the side of the box to, to carry it. Um, the strap uh, uh, is, is well made as well. Uh, I think uh, um, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the front two terminals uh, obviously are not fused and uh, the butterfly there uh, seems well, the nut is well made, uh, well insulated uh, and uh, they put uh, a, a rubber uh, insulation on top of that nut as well. The manual is calling out uh, for uh, taking this rubber uh, insulation off when you use those terminals but to put it back uh, after you uh, finish using those external terminals. Uh, obviously they are not fused so this insulation gonna keep uh, um, keep it away from being short-circuited or anything like that. <coughs> and same on the side as well. On the top um, I think uh, most everything is on the top. Uh, you see there on the left hand uh, you have uh, two 5 volt total 3.1 amp uh, uh, USB sockets uh, and then on the other side you see 12 volt DC accessory socket and in the middle is the digital uh, voltmeter. Uh, on the USB side uh, one of them as I said is uh, 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 1 uh, amp and the other one is 2.1 amp. They all add to 3.1 amp uh, and uh, the uh, 16 amp uh, resettable circuit breaker um, uh, uh, seems well put together but the button seems a bit flimsy to my touch. Time would tell, I will report back if, if any issue happens with that. Uh, I don't anticipate any issues but uh, just kind of the feeling of it wasn't uh, too assuring. The strap is uh, again well made. I think uh, you know pretty easy to take off. Uh, you see that sticker again there. It's just a smaller version of the one at the front, uh, just basically listing out all the features and functionality of the of the battery box uh, uh, that that's uh, available for you. Uh, top of the box has all the cable management, uh, and uh, you see there the two fuses. Those are attached to the Anderson connectors, the heavy-duty connectors. Uh, they are 60 amp fuses. The connector themselves are uh, each 50 amp heavy-duty connectors, but the fuses are 60 amp fuses. Everything on the box seems to be uh, well put together. All nuts are were tied and I checked everything, uh, all connectors uh, seem to be well made and um, I think there was nothing uh, notable there to uh, report uh, about uh, the assembly. Um, pretty, pretty happy with it. Um, yeah. Uh, the manual was there in the box as well uh, and you see there there was nothing else notable on the box uh, aside from that. Uh, the manual is pretty detailed. Uh, I think it covers uh, all kind of things from, uh, uh, you know, safety instructions to how you install a battery inside the box to how to troubleshoot any issues uh, with the battery. 
So uh, I think a decent amount of information they are pretty helpful and uh, you know they call out uh, you know it's uh, covered for 12 months and uh, if any defect uh, per the manual uh, they will send you a new box uh, so um, I haven't tried that I don't know if uh, you know if they're gonna follow through that and how easy the customer support is to be uh, contacted uh, that's I haven't I haven't done that so but it's all listed there on the manual So I purchased a chin battery, a lithium ion phosphate, uh, 100 amp from Amazon as well. Um, so uh, it, it's fitting the box uh, super well. Um, and uh, this is just, I'm just doing temporary fitting just to show uh, how these things will come together. And then to, uh, I will continue to uh, basically uh, with the video, uh, I will show you how to permanently install this as, as I did. Um, so uh, the, these uh, connectors uh, were zip tight, so uh, you basically uh, kind of pull them out and then I cut through that zip tie to free those fuses off and manage them a little bit better uh, instead of cramping them all together uh, in one side. And uh, yeah, you connect uh, the basically the red cable to the positive terminal and the uh, black cable uh, to the uh, negative terminal. and. Uh, that should uh, be all what you need uh, to uh, get power to the top of the box and uh, make those uh, terminal useful. The terminal ring uh, um, fit right in. Uh, I didn't have any issues with the uh, screw and the diameter of the ring. So that was pretty easy and straightforward. Same thing on the negative side. That's pretty much it. Uh, that basically now uh, you, we should have power across the board on all these terminals. Um, and here you go. And 13.4 uh, volt, uh, the battery is fully charged and that's the right reading. So you get the uh, blue light there as well and uh, to um, show the power and also that will be helpful during night time to see where the USB connectors are as well. So um, the front terminal and the Anderson connectors uh, uh, are always on. So this uh, basically uh, the uh, 16 amp uh, resettable circuit breaker switch is only for the 12 volt accessory socket and the USB connectors only. And now uh, I'm testing the uh, USB connector here using two AC Infinity uh, USB fans uh, just to uh, test uh, and see um, uh, if, if uh, the USB uh, has the power that they need to, to run. There you go. And run them in full speed and they're not, there's no uh, issues there as well. So inserting and taking out the USB connector uh, through that terminal uh, seems uh, to go without any issue and uh, the terminal seemed to be pretty sturdy. Uh, now uh, I'm going to use a voltmeter just to uh, test out uh, the other um, terminals of the box as well, just to uh, see uh, how much voltage uh, will where we can read out of them, and also to see how accurate the voltmeter on the battery top is as well. I will leave uh, a link to those items uh, here um, on the description so that you could uh, 
directly uh, check them out in Amazon so I'm uh, putting the probe through that installation just to keep it stay there um, and uh, here we go so it should read 13 uh, point uh, 13.43 right there so the voltmeter seem accurate and uh, we're reading the light voltage right voltage at the front as well uh, we can try the Anderson uh, connectors now and again both of those are uh, 60 amp fused and each one is 50 amp heavy duty connector two of them same thing here and the second one there we go they all seem consistent so now uh, to take the battery out uh, basically you just uh, uh, flip the cover uh, towards you and uh, that that should give you access uh, to all cable management and the terminals and everything else there uh, uh, and uh, yeah that's as simple as that um, the um, battery is sitting pretty well inside the box you see there there's some space and I think uh, that will allow the battery to uh, somehow freely a little bit move between uh, you know between in, inside the box and uh, for my usage I think in, in being in a truck and you know in dirt roads uh, I think that will create a lot of vibration with cables and things like that so um, I'm gonna try to manage that through adding some insulation between the two I think that will keep the battery uh, you know uh, more kind of fixed within within the box uh, but also that will add some insulation for uh, hot or cold weather and that will uh, uh, keep the battery uh, temperature more consistent I think uh, than, than the way it is uh, in this case so I cut some uh, uh, insulation I purchased this uh, from uh, um, uh, big box retail store uh, pretty standard uh, stuff here uh, it's the same stuff they use for uh, windshield uh, uh, sunshade and uh, yeah, I cut it to measure, like I measured it to, to the battery size and uh, here I'm just trying to test fit it here, uh, which is uh, fitting nicely. Uh, and then I'll uh, show you how uh, you see there. Uh, so it's all, uh, the battery will all be surrounded with it, that, that will keep it in place and from moving uh, uh, and, and uh, will avoid uh, having any sort of uh, vibration. It's all uh, full of bubbles obviously, so that's helpful. So you see here the chin battery sitting on top of the uh, insulation uh, and uh, I will uh, uh, basically uh, uh, attach the insulation to the battery and uh, the battery will get fully wrapped uh, with the insulation. Uh, using some scotch tape to do that. Pretty simple, straightforward, nothing fancy here. And I will uh, run this faster. Now we finished uh, wrapping the battery, uh, so uh, now uh, I will take the battery and uh, put it uh, inside, uh, snuggly inside the box. pretty uh, tight here uh, and uh, that's a good thing that's not a bad thing uh, it's all cushy and uh, these air bubbles will manage themselves uh, through through this
So I will start uh, trimming the uh, extra insulation or the access insulation. Uh, just gonna cut it through and uh, level it out. Just to make sure uh, things are all uh, uh, cut to uh, perfect to the to the size uh, of the height of the box. It would have been uh, maybe easier to use uh, uh, a blade, a sharp blade, to do this than the scissors. But it did the job. And uh, this whole setup here uh, between the battery and the box, uh, actually, uh, it's pretty light. Uh, still, I think, uh, single hand uh, can, uh, you know, with, with one hand, I think you, could, you should be able to carry the whole thing together. But again, the box doesn't have a handle like that. You should use both hands to carry it. Uh, but with this uh, lithium phosphate battery, uh, it makes it lighter and more usable. So now I'm going to uh, permanently attach uh, the cover of the box to the battery terminals so that uh, I could start to uh, use this, this battery box. The uh, chin battery came with uh, 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 those screws and uh, they have a spring washer on them. So uh, I think if you uh, tighten them pretty well, uh, I think uh, you should be okay, but uh, uh, I will every after every trip. Usually, I do. Uh, 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 I check these type of things uh, before I take a second trip, just to make sure the vibration of the road and things like that didn't uh, uh, impact uh, those those nuts and bolts. So that's pretty much it. Uh, now, uh, after I put the insulation uh, and the battery in, I think made the top of the box expand a little bit, which I think that is a lot better because now the cover is snugly fitting uh, on uh, the uh, bottom box, which makes it all feel like uh, a single piece, a single box, uh, without like not as, as two or three pieces. Uh, I'm, I was pretty happy with that, actually. Uh, so now uh, I put the uh, strap on and I, uh, you know, pull it as tight as possible. Um, so I would have liked for this, for all top, to have put some sort of a Velcro or something like that to attach that extra piece of the strap back again to it so it's not loose like that. I like for things to be neat and tight. So yeah, here we go. Uh, power it on, it's coming on and uh, it's ready to go. Uh, pretty happy with the setup. I think in terms of uh, cost, it is a lot more reasonable than buying anything uh, ready to go uh, from from the market. Uh, and also, uh, if you need 110 volt uh, AC, then you could uh, add an inverter to this. Uh, you could buy a 1,000, 2,000, or, or 3,000 inverter and attach it to this uh, as well. And then for charging. Uh, you could use uh, solar charge or uh, you could uh, actually buy a, a lithium ion uh, AC to DC charger or a DC to DC charger as well if you want to charge it from uh, your uh, alternator or anything like that.
But again, I, I would like to keep this portable, and uh, I think I'm going to keep it like that because I think it's a lot more useful than uh, making it a permanent attachment to, to, to the car. Um, yeah, this extra piece, I would have liked to have a Velcro or something to attach it back to the main strap, but uh, it's okay. I think uh, I will find something to manage it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. It helps grow the channel and it helps me continue to make these videos. Um, and thank you uh, for doing that. And uh, if you like the video, please like the video. And I appreciate uh, your support. Uh, yeah, here you have it. Uh, pretty happy with the setup. Uh, cost effective, useful, and I think uh, uh, it will do what it's supposed to do uh, in terms of overlanding or any other usage that I will have for it. Uh, I will report back if anything unusual comes up. And until then, uh, thank you for watching and uh, uh, see you uh, again.